Hey, what's up? Welcome back to Everzone. I'm Troy. And today I'm just going to talk about something um, that affects literally everyone with laptop or maybe cell phone or something close to that. You ever connect to the free Wi Fi at a Starbucks? Bad news. If you have done that, there is a chance someone was spying your screen, stealing your passwords, and all that important data. And yeah, hackers love public Wi Fi more than frappuccinos. But don't worry, I'm not here to scare you. I'm just here to show you how exactly they do it, step by step, and how you can protect yourself like a cybersecurity ninja. And this is gonna be fun and hands on. Okay, guys, let's start it before it's too late. Alright, just imagine you're chilling at your local coffee shop, good coffee, free Wi Fi, and then you stay at Starbucks free Wi Fi. You put your email address, password, but hold up, what if that Wi Fi is in a Starbucks? Hackers can use a phone or more commonly a Raspberry Pi to create a fake Wi Fi hotspot, also known as an evil twin Wi Fi attack, and your data will transfer into their devices without you even noticing. Let's talk about Wireshark, the tool that lets you literally see what's flying through the air when devices talk to each other on Wi-Fi. And yeah, we're gonna use Wireshark today as a hacker. After installing Wireshark, just run it as administrator. On the screen, look at the network interfaces. The one with the moving graph is the one that's active. That's your live connection. Just select it to start capturing real-time network traffic. Alright, we're in. Packets are flowing and this is where the real magic happens. Every line here is a conversation happening on your network. Let's break it down. Every time you open a site like Google here, Wireshark captures it live. Each new line is a new packet. So if something's happening on the network, you'll see it in real time. After you mistakenly connect to the fake Wi-Fi, the hacker automatically sends you a login page where you enter your sensitive information. This victim's information can be used in multiple accounts, such as a bank account. This page was previously designed by me and if you look closely at the site address, it's so easy to see the letters that is fake. But just remember this page design is so basic and simple. In real cases, it's gonna be so professional and you can't believe it's so easy. The hacker uses this filter that I put it here to instantly find packets where data was sent to a server. Post requests often carry login info from data, even credentials. There you go, clear as day in the packet details. Username and password fully exposed. This came from someone logging in over the fake public Wi-Fi at somewhere like Starbucks. Totally on where they were being watched the entire time. Okay, that's enough for today and thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to see more projects in the future, please subscribe this channel and go to the CyberZone website. The address is czsupport.com and you can have access to a lot of advanced projects, consulting and more. Thank you again. See you in the next project.